Hey guys, Mason here. Welcome back to The Sweet Spot. I create delicious desserts that you can follow along with at home. The ingredients and full written recipe are in the description box. Also, if you want to join the family, click the subscribe button down below and the bell will notify you every time I upload. Today, we're making blueberry bundt cake. It's a yellow cake base with both granulated and light brown sugars, so the texture is really heavy and really dense, almost like your grandma used to make. Now, there is something nostalgic about this recipe. It harkens back to the 50s or the 60s, but it's absolutely chocked full of bright blueberries. On top of that, we're gonna cover it with a tart lemon glaze, so if you all want the recipe, stick around and we'll get started. So to get started, we have a list of ingredients, three cups of flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, one lemon, three-fourths cup buttermilk, one cup granulated sugar, one cup light brown sugar, three large eggs and one large yolk, one cup of butter, and two cups of blueberries. Before we get started, you can preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius. After you've softened your butter to room temperature, you're going to want to cut it into small cubes. And that's just to make the creaming process a lot easier. We're going to go on ahead and add in both the granulated sugar and brown sugars and get the creaming process started. You're going to cream your butter and both sugars together for three minutes. continually scraping down the sides to make sure that everything's getting incorporated. Now we're going to add in our eggs one at a time. You'll mix until each is just combined until you have all the eggs and the yolk in the mixture. and it'll be a lot more smooth and a lot more liquid, like this. Now to combine the dry ingredients and just whisk those together. And what we're doing with this cake is a very old school method. You're gonna add your dry ingredients in three parts and your buttermilk in two parts, alternating between both of those. And this just really ensures that the cake batter doesn't get over mixed. Now with the last of the flour mixture that you have left, you're gonna to wanna to grate your lemon zest into it. But be careful not to over mix here because you don't want your cake to come out too tough. And you want to make sure to incorporate the last bit by hand. Alright, you want to get any form of a bump pan that you have. I know everyone's got these probably buried in the back of their cabinets. Pull that baby out. I just spray mine with a non-stick cooking spray. You can butter and flour this if you wish to do so. But to build the cake, you're going to put down a thin layer of your batter and smooth that out completely.
Then you're going to layer your blueberries on top of that. Put another layer of batter down. Finish the last half of your blueberries and then the last little bit of batter cover over top of that to ensure them from sinking like mine do you can cover your blueberries in a little bit of flour before you lay them in there and that should prevent them from falling to the bottom now while the cake is baking we'll make the lemon glaze you'll just take the lemon that you used the zest for in the cake cut that in half and get all the juice out of the entire lemon Now slowly you'll add in your confectioner's sugar until you get the consistency that you want. This is not a specific measurement. You want it to be thick, but you also want it to fall off of the back of your spoon. I add in a little almond extract just to change the flavor a little bit, balance it out. but you're gonna want it to look something like a thick glue type paste so it doesn't fall off of your cake or melt too fast. And like magic, the cake is done. You're just going to pour that glaze that you made over the top. It'll slowly creep down the sides. Isn't that gorgeous? This is probably the best part of baking this cake is just seeing the glaze creep down the sides and stick to it. Now for decoration, just to keep it super simple, we're gonna take the blueberries that we had left and decorate the top of the cake with it. There's something so classic but elegant about this cake and I love that. Even though it's an all-in-one method, it is definitely a showstopper on anybody's table. <clears throat> the cake is super moist and the lemon glaze hardens up on the top and gives you a nice balance of the textures because it's a little crunchy with those fresh blueberries. So what'd you guys think? The crumb of this cake gives a wonderful mouthfeel, and when you bite into those bright blueberries, it gives you a wonderful surprise. And they also help to break up the heaviness of the bunk cake. I hope you guys try this at home and share your creations on social media. Comment down below with some more recipes that you want me to try in the future. From my home to yours, enjoy.